Biologics are typically administered as injections, including under the skin or subcutaneous injections, or as intravenous or IV infusions. <laughs> when you receive a biologic as an IV infusion, you'll typically need to get this done in a medical setting or your provider's office. The medication is diluted into an IV bag like this one, and it slowly drips through tubing into your vein. So you can expect to be at an infusion clinic or your provider's office for quite some time while the medication is being delivered, and often for a little while after, just to make sure there aren't any side effects after the infusion. Biologics that are administered as injections work by forcing the medication via syringe into the body. It usually only takes a few seconds. And often you can inject these sorts of biologics on your own at home once you've been trained to do so properly. There are several different types of injectable biologics. It may come as a vial of medication that you'll need to draw up and inject with a syringe, and some biologics come in a one-dose pre-filled syringe. So all you have to do is inject it and you're done. There are also injection pens, which have many different options. Reusable, single dose. Some of them are pre-filled with medication already. Some of them you need to dial up your dose and others already have the dose selected for you. To use an injection pen, place the pen against the injection area and either press a button at the top or apply pressure, which will deploy the needle to administer the medication. Some biologics are available in auto-injector pens. These tend to be more accurate and safer and easier to use. Since they're single dose, you don't have to draw up the dose yourself. And they're designed this way to make it easier for non-medical professionals to administer medications themselves. If you're injecting biologic medications at home, you also need a sharps container, and it might also be a good idea to have a cotton ball or a Band-Aid on hand as well. All needles need to go in a sharps container, not in your household garbage. If you still have questions, questions, or if you still aren't sure that you're doing it quite right, there are plenty of resources available online, typically through the manufacturer, including videos of how to inject the medication. 